What's up guys? Look at this nice and symmetrical shot of my head right in between the two towers. We are in the city of Heliodor, or Heliodor, because it's just such a mighty sounding city that you kind of can't help but sell. You kind of can't help but say it like Heliodor, you know. So in the last episode, we checked out the item shop. We talked to a girl who was missing her cat, and uh, then we spent about eight minutes walking around the city. And you're never going to see that. Because I had a bunch of dropped frames and I realized I couldn't record that way, so I'm trying it now with just the direct capture software. We'll see how that turns out. But in the meantime, I can try jumping around up here and searching some barrels. Get 30 gold coins for free. It's not a bad little trade off. Let's see what's going on in here. I don't know, just wander around some random building. Now, if you see a book on a shelf like this, you always want to check it out. A soldier and the Strategist, a tale of two heroes. Ooh, I really do hope that that uh, text looks better than it did last time. Because I know it looked a little janky last time, and I figured out what the problem was. At least I'm pretty sure I did. But once I fixed that, then the frame dropping thing started happening, so I don't really know. I mean, hopefully it's not too big a deal here. So yeah, the settings jacked up pretty high here on it now. Is that another barrel? No. I mean, we probably don't want to destroy everything in here, but... You know. Nobody's going to know the difference anyway. There are no witnesses among us here. Down and out in downtown Helidor. It's the historic city center of this one's we'd like to take a moment to talk about the city's diverse downtown district. Well, I don't care about no downtown district. Oh, okay, yeah, there is that though. <laughs> yeah, so apparently this city has like a what do you even call it? Like sort of a dirty underside. I mean, if you remember, Raven Aster in Final Fantasy XII had that, too. It's like an entire under... Well, you know, a lot of Final Fantasy cities do, though. Like Final Fantasy VII has the plate. But then it has, like, a bunch of people living underneath it. You know? You can't jump on this? Huh. I was gonna say, I totally can. Yeah, it's really pretty out here. There's a lot of interesting areas. Uh, how's it going, Mr. Uh, Red? <laughs> of course, yeah, the rope. Well, yeah, I remember that part. Yeah, this is a, kind of a big city. Ooh, wait, more barrels. Barrels, barrels, yes. Oh, every time I see barrels, I just go nuts, man. Just always get stuff in the... Whoa, what's going on? Oh, it's night time. Just I wasted too much time messing around, huh? Well, that's okay. The cat will still be there. Starting to head along the little curved passageway here. Eventually, if you go for long enough, you run into a side quest man. He says, I came all the way to Hollydor with just one goal in mind to catch a glimpse of the two of the greatest heroes in all of history Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrick. The only problem is they won't let me into the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm not going to get to meet him in person, I suppose I'll have to bide my time by reading up on them instead. You know, if you wanted to earn my eternal gratitude, you could help me find a book about the exploits of these two fabulous knights. Don't mind if I do. That book that I found on the shelf earlier, that was the one he was looking for. So this quest is already done right here. Here you go, baby. I'm gonna give it to you. By the way, what's this guy's name? Uh. Mmm, why am I so bad at coming up with names? Dave. Yeah, your name's Dave. So now we're on the upper level of the city, sort of here. And the gates are open, so we can just explore the gardens here. It's really pretty out here. If you go over this way. 
It's like a little chest over here you can get. I remember finding this last time and being like, hey, I never knew this was there. Seed of sorcery. I do believe that's a seed that permanently increases your magic power by one. So, it's a good thing to have. Oh, these two are just... <laughs> I'm so happy I met you. Just being near you makes me so happy I could burst. Aw. Oh, we should just let these two have their time, you know. So if we come over here, now we're directly above where we just were a second ago. You can tell by the curve of the pathway here. I feel like there might be something over here that I can look at. I don't know if I can get in there. There's a lot of pissing going on in there. Three gold coins. Yeah, just little bits at a time here and there. Ooh. This might be that roof we can get on over here. Or it might be over here, actually. Yeah, this looks more like it. Be careful, be careful. Good job. Nothing quite like exploring the rooftops of a town at night, let me tell you. I remember getting on the roof of our town in Memphis one day. Or I, or I mean, uh, our town. The house we lived in there for a couple of months. I just remember this one day being up there and thinking, well, this is kind of cool. Because, <laughs> like, seriously, how often do you get to go on the roof of your house? I mean... I never did. I mean, maybe some people get to do that a lot or something, but... There's a ladder here. Oh, I see. So this is probably how you would normally get up here. Oh, I see the kitty. He's right over there. See him right above my head right there. The question is, can we get over to that side of the roof? I see a chest over there, too. Get on top of this, maybe. It's a hell of a jump. There's not a rope that goes over there somewhere. Yep. Oh, we made it. Yes. In the chest over here, we have our first mini medal of the game. Oh, there goes the corn dogs. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> we just have just some different cooking in every episode here. Um, there's like over a hundred of those in the game. And you will trade them in eventually for like really good stuff, so... I'm going to try to pick up every one I possibly can as we go along. As long as we don't miss any, we can get the best stuff possible when we do get to the point where we trade them in. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's help the kitty. There we go. Meow. -er. Go tell her the good news. Well, don't mind if I do's. Is the lighting changing again? <laughs> Right, purple dot, purple dot on the map. Wait, wait, wait. She's that right behind her. Duh. <laughs> you did it! You got Amelia off the roof! Thank you, oh thank you, thank you. Here, take this. <laughs> what am I gonna do with a bag of kitty litter? I have no idea. I mean, who knows? Maybe we can use it as a ingredient in something? Just as long as it doesn't come with the kitty poop, we should be okay. So we're not going to be able to go see the king at night, so let's just see what else we can do around here in the meantime. Now this is music. Now this is pod racing. Sweet music. Isn't it though, uh, Bonnie? This is Carlos. And, uh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind, it's daylight. Okay, cool. So what did I say? Carlos for you and uh Jeez, I don't even know. Um, Amber? Okay, yeah, that'll work. Honestly, I'm not basing these names off of anybody that I actually know. So I'm just gonna pick and choose in Pierre. 
How's it going, Pierre? Secure lives. Good for you, then. So we're not dropping frames here, are we? It's the other way I was dropping frames, and now I'm all nervous about that. <laughs> I just want to try to get the quality as good as it can get here. If you're going to travel the world, you need to run into monsters, and that means you need to get ripped. Do it! Do it! Don't mind if I do. There's actually an armor shop here. I'm going to look at this. How do we get in here, though, is the question. Oh, back door, huh? Good idea. Except that's not the back door. Actually, over here. Oh, let's have a look-see. No one sells drop of swords to me, mate. You can look, but you're probably best not touch. Well, yeah. So we got a copper sword, copper chopper. So Copper Chopper is a two-handed sword, as you can see. Also known as Great Sword. Copper Sword, though? Sure, why not? Oh, no. Uh, well... Maybe there's something I can sell? I'll just sell one cotton top, uh, one copper ore, and one medicinal herb. There, that'll get us... Here, now we can get it. This is really stupid because I missed a chest back in the very first cave. And I feel like that might have been a better sword that was in there. I don't really know. Uh, I will be carrying it. And I'd like to equip it, yes. Yeah, thank you. Definitely not going to have any money for armor, though. But I don't think we're going to need armor. Because we just got the Wayfarer's clothes anyway. And unfortunately, unlike Dragon Quest Builders, Wayfarer's clothes do not increase our running speed. Wait a minute. Yeah, but I did do that. Oh shoot, did I do that on the part of- oh crap. Let me go do it again. Maybe it only counts if you do it after you talk to him. This is the book he's looking for. I'll show you where it is. It's right over here in this building here. Here we go. Let me just go to the left here. Fishnet stockings? What the hell? Really? Can I wear those? Oh, you know, I should probably put that on. It's one more defense. Why not? No. Okay. Alright, well. It was worth a try. How's it going here, uh... It's gonna be so tasty. Oh, here we go. This is house back here. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yep, okay, here it is. Red book on the shelf here. There's a book called The Soldier and the Strategist, a tale of two heroes. No matter how ferocious an assault the monsters may launch, this great kingdom shall not fall, for two heroic figures will stand in the path of any attacker. These guys are important, so it's worth noting. The first is Sir Hendrick, a warrior without equal. Countless times has he ridden his colossal black steed, Obsidian, fearlessly. That is a badass name for a horse, by the way. Into the heart of an oncoming assault, scattering the enemy like so many leaves. Just, oh. He is chivalrous to a fault and considered by many to be the greatest swordsman in the world. Even the vilest, most towering troll dare not stand his ground when faced with his whirling greatsword. The second half of this gallant duo is the shrewd and ingenious Sir Jasper. Regarded as the sharpest military kind of the age, he has led heavily outnumbered forces to glorious victory again and again. Though as a swordsman, he may be no match for Sir Hendrick. His ability to analyze the battlefield and quickly arrive at the ideal strategy for the situation is unrivaled. With these two great men, with these two Triforces, the swordsman and the strategist to protect Heliodor need fear no foe. God damn right. Oh jeez, I just walked over the pumpkins. Uh, sorry, Eric. Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, I've been doing that all along. In fact, I've been doing a little too much of it, probably. How's it going, soldier? How's it going, no face? Uh... 
I don't have a name for you. I really don't. Well, let's at least run back and turn in that. Oh, jeez. Ran around the wrong side of the covered wagon there. At least go ahead and turn in the side quest here. Hello. I can tell from that look in your eyes that you found that book. Go on, tell me what it said. Yep. Ooh, Drusillian Shilling. Ooh. Interesting. I don't remember seeing those this early in the game, but, huh. Yeah, my first time playing this, I looked all over for that book. And I, I just couldn't find it. And I was like, well, this must be something that you find much later in the game, so I kind of gave up on it. And it turns out it's right there the whole time. The whole time? The whole time! Hey, what's up, Bocephus? Oh, you're so bored. Oh, there's some stuff over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You press every button other than the right one. That's how we do it around here. It's a nice little town. I don't know how many of these doors you can go into. I don't think very many. There's lots of barrels to pick up, though. So definitely don't hesitate to take a look around if you're given the chance to. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you're not going to be able to go in any of these doors. But do check around for smaller vases and barrels and stuff. So you never know what you're going to find. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, let's see, I don't see any over here. There's a couple of doors, but... I mean, if you look on the map, you can kind of see which doors you can go in and which ones you can't. So, like... Oh, hello. What's up, Robin? Came here looking for some excitement, but there's nothing going on. Maybe I should stick to the main drag rather than loitering in back alleys. I don't know, it's kind of nice back here. Oh, what are you doing? Wait, what? A ladder? Here? I guess so, Jeremy. Well, what's up, it? Careful, you idiot. I said across her nose, not up it. Oops, I fell off. Let me try that again. It goes up to the rooftop for some reason. Huh. Is there like something up here? There's another person. I just can't do it. Huh. What can't you do? I'm absolutely convinced there's treasure down this chimney. I can't stand dark places, so I'm too scared to go down and have a look. Well, you have called, I've answered. Let me still have a look and see for myself if I can. Oh, I need to press A, don't I? So I'm just like, I'll go down there. I'm crazy enough. Seed of Deafness. Another one of these dudes here. Anything else? Book on a shelf. There's a scrap of paper hidden in between two books. There's nothing I love more than the longing looks of those slum dwellers who pass beneath my balcony and gawk at my treasure chest with their hungry eyes. The envy of the unwashed masses is well founded, for the chest holds my greatest treasures, but I rest easy in the knowledge that it remains completely inaccessible. Wow. What an asshole. I think it's hilarious that... <laughs> why, okay, so that's what the guy's thinking in his head, sure, but why did he write it down? And why did he stick it in a book? Oh, I just unlocked the door. Dude. Let me see if I can uh, speed up the camera here. Oh, yeah, that's we're going to need to move that up to about, like, 8. There, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. Alright, let's see here. 
So you find that treasure chest. Five gold coins. Maybe it's over here. Ah, oh, sure enough, there it is. Oh man, he's gonna be so mad when he gets home. Gold bracer. Nice. I believe I'll be equipping that. Thank you very much. Look at that, it's four defense. Six charm. So charm's kind of a weird stat in this game. For the main hero, the protagonist, it doesn't really have all that much use. Uh, sometimes you can randomly charm enemies in the game. Which is to say, you just they just lose their turn. Because they're just captivated by captivated by how beautiful you are. You know, it's kind of silly, but... Anyone in the game can do it, but more likely it's going to be like the female characters or the... The more flashy, flamboyant sort of characters. So, and you'll know who they are when you see them, trust me. But, um... Otherwise, there are certain abilities that they can use that scale with it. Like, I think, uh... I don't want to, like, say anything too specific here, so maybe I'll just be quiet about that. Or is it still beautiful? It looks like it's drawing me in. Well, maybe it is... The Jennifer, I don't know what else to call you. Why am I so bad at coming up with names on the spot? I have no idea. I thought I'd be better than this. Hello. Oh man, Archie! Wow, look at this. I wonder how much it's worth. If I sold it, I bet I'd never have to work again. You see this two headed eagle? It's the symbol of Heliodor. It's on the flag as well. Yep. You can sell that for quite a bit. It's getting later in the day here. We should probably hurry up and see if we can go see the king. Try to get some story progression in here today. Halt! Not so fast. Oh yeah? State your business. <laughs> here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Okay, uh, um... <laughs> Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Well, screw you, Brett. As for the other guy, your name is Bald. Oh. What's that? You wanna show that pendant to the king, you say? Oh. Uh -huh. Do you mind waiting here a minute? No, 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 Brad and Brett. Or is it Brett and Brad? I can never remember these two guys apart. <laughs> huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Oh. Well. That certainly went better than I expected. I feel like this has to have happened to everybody who was shy slash introverted at least once in their lives. That they've gotten turned away to something that they were supposed to be able to get into. You know, just being rejected by the world just magnifies that feeling like, oh yeah, it really must be me. Or even now, it's something wrong with me. I don't know, you guys don't look happy. Wow, Hugo and, uh, Heather. You guys okay? What's up? His Majesty is waiting for you. If we get to the throne room, head up these stairs and go straight on. I don't mind if I do. But wait. Before we do that, let me just... Yeah, let me just... On one of these balconies, I believe there is a mini metal, and I would like to be getting it before I leave. Can I open any of these doors? Are oh, they really gonna let us explore all this? Dang. Well, that's awfully nice of them. Oh. 
Don't mind me, sir. I'm just rummaging through your crap here while you're engrossed in your... No, he's really into that book right now. Okay. Cool. Let's see. What is the rest of that? Let's see. Leather hat. Yep. It's better than what I had before. Oh, what's up, Elliot? What's wrong? Ever since you arrived in the castle, there's been a curious tension in the air. I can't quite put my finger on it. I mean, I'm not going to do anything if that's what you're worried about. Wow, look at you just laying there perfectly still. Oh, training with Sir Hendrick is exhausting. I'm just taking a little breather. How about you? That training was brutal. Yeah, well, that's Sir Hendrick for you, I guess. Can't wait to meet the man myself. Hey, what's up, Carol? Greetings and welcome. Can I see your face? Uh, yeah. Carol's close enough. That's actually Miss Davis's first name, those of you who remember the Miss Davis heels story. It really wasn't much of a story at all, it's just a thing. King Carnelian behind the throne. Having seen several generations of his line, I can say with some certainty that King Carnelian is a rare breed of monarch. What is he, a horse? Jeez. Possessed of all the qualities required in a truly great leader. Hmm. Right on. I like this little lore stuff, you know. Kind of just helps you really get immersed. Oh, Wayfair is close, huh? Unbelievable what are you guys talking about? We are nobles of the most blue blooded stock, and yet we have been told that we must wait for an audience with the king. Oh, sorry about that, Raymond and Rachel. Raymond and Rachel. All the couples are gonna be like alliteration couples. easier to come up with names that way. Hmm. Ooh, look at this. How's it going, Billy Bob? I'm stupendously wealthy of brought marvelous gifts for the king, but now I hear that he needs to rent an audience for some upstart, and that I must wait. <laughs> Well, you won't be mind if I take this, then. Oh! I'll take him. Okay, fine. I guess I won't. Jeez. Alright, then. Check the shelves while we're here. Always check these books, I'm telling you. For right now, we're not going to see too much, but eventually they're going to start having, like, recipes in them and stuff. Telling a little bit about the world here. It's, ne it's not too necessary to remember all that. There's a lot to remember. As far as like city names and stuff. And like where they are. And how to get to them. But eventually you'll just be jumping around from one to the other. And not even thinking about it. You know. So... Well, let me just double check something here. So it's off this way, just like a garden or something. Oh, hello. Hey, there's little pots out here. Butterfly wing. Hey, what's up, uh, Peter? This tree has been here since before I was born. It is simply magnificent. It requires no care but retains its noble form entirely naturally. Sorry, that was a fly landed on my arm. It is an important tree. Remember this tree. Yeah. Right on. How's it going, Sarah? 
You must be the luminary. You created quite a stir, you know. It's nice to be able to meet you in person. See ya. Seven gold coins. Sorry, I just made more cleaning for you. I wish I could climb down the well. I love climbing down wells in this game. It's just... Something about it's just fun. Ugh. It's tough to come up with names for knights, you know? I don't know. None may pass. I don't really. It's not bad to kind of get to know this place, because you will be coming back here, obviously. Um... This is the entrance to the late princess's chamber. I'm afraid I cannot permit you to pass. Well, understandable. This is his majesty's chamber, and before you ask, no, you're not coming in. I wasn't about to, sir. Jeez Louise. Look at this. How big is this place? Good lord, man. Atlanta. There's pots here. Yeah, this may be a little bit unnecessary, maybe doing all this, but. Actually, this may have been the way I was supposed to go. Come to think of it. Well, let me just grab these over here then. Dose of strong medicine, you say? Yeah, there's a lot of symmetry in this castle. Or like times where there's two ways to go and then they just go to the same place. Because it's all just one big circle, you know? Yep, pretty much the same. So, let's see what's out here. Yeah, sure, balcony. Oh man, they let us do so much exploring in here. I never explored this castle this much before, like... Early in the game like this. Can't stop thinking about that star. That red star in the sky is known as Erdwin's Lantern, you know? Scholars have long wondered how it got that name, but I'm afraid it has remained a mystery. Oh, sorry to hear that, Donnie. Oh. There it is, mini metal. Yep. I knew there was a reason I wanted to wander around this place. Well, those just kind of fell apart, didn't they? <laughs> Single file. Alright, looks like that's everything. Well, let's head back down to... downstairs. Oh boy. You know, I feel a lot more comfortable if I could see the looks on their faces, but, uh... <laughs> But okay, sure, sure, no problem. Boy, they're just staring me down. That will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. Sir Jasper, good to see you again. The Jewel of Dundrasil. Mm-hmm. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. And lover of meat, apparently. How long have I waited for this day? And Several now, years, I would imagine. Finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. 
I was just a couple of miles up the road, you know? I mean, good lord. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. Yeah, as of about 48 hours ago, yes. I take it that you also bear the mark? Yeah, you want to see? There it is, baby. Yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt, you are he. K, bow down to your king. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. Cool. Ah, feels good, man. You love to see it. Luminary. Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Ah, oh, well, they'll be happy to hear that. I see. Cobblestone, you say? Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. What? Nobodies? I don't like that tone, sir. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Why are you being so vague about this? Yes, my liege. I mean, I can't possibly imagine. Why am I pointing out that he's being vague about it? I mean, you know, maybe they're just going to reward some people. A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. Sir Hendrick, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Hendrick, take this cur, this harbinger of calamity. And cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Well, you know what? Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as His Majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Nice sword. Men, seize this wretch. Well, I knew I didn't like this. In fact, I couldn't see the look on their faces. Okay, lightning mustache. See you later, I guess. I wonder how many items you've acquired, what monsters you've managed to... Well, you know it's a real RPG when you're put into jail in the first, you know, two hours or so. Yep. Please at least tell me there's a toilet in here. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. Yeah, they'll vouch for me. By then, then everything will be okay, will right? From his Investigation. Oh, investigation, yeah. Okay, so see, this guy never smiles. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Mm hmm. Okay, whose footsies are those? Good lord, man. Whoa. 
Welp. Hero in Chains, awarded for fulfilling your duty and traveling to Heliodor Castle, only to be damned as the Dark Spawn and thrown into the dungeons by King Meat Lovers. Meat Lovers, Lightning Mustache. He has many names. Oh, we do have a toilet. Thank God. It'll take me a piss. Alright, so next time on Dragon Quest XI, we will have an empty bladder. And maybe then we can figure out how to get out of here. So I will see you then. Take care, y'all.